Hello everybody, my name is Aspen, and welcome back to another episode of our Minecraft Let's Play series. And today, we have a lot of things that I actually want to get done. For starters, I want to build up our farms, pretty much make them bigger and also way more prettier. And a few other tasks, such as maybe making a path and also some lights. And also maybe making a well to go with all the farmland. Pretty much it. So I'm going to take these mangrove roots that I chopped down in the back forest over there. And I'm going to start by building a small perimeter around this entire upscale of land. Pretty much just... I'm pretty much just making a border against all of this, and then I'm going to like build it up and use maybe some bushes and maybe some fences. So pretty much all I want to do is take this all the way around, including like way up top on the mountain side of it, and pretty much just build it up to make it look sort of like it's overgrown and it's protected somehow by magical roots. Uh, I also need to clear out this a lot because I cannot have this in the way. Also, I should probably cover this up here in a minute so that I do not fall down and die like I did last time. So, um, let's see. That is a big cave. Uh, hello sheep. Uh, okay, let's get this out of the way. Okay, that is way much better than what it was before. I don't think I want to use my mangrove logs just yet to make slabs or to incorporate them into anything just yet. Uh, I think I'm just going to use spruce for now because it has more of a worn out sort of swampy feeling to it. And maybe later I'll figure out something to do with the whole mangrove log situation. But for now I just want to save up on my mangrove logs until I have an actual big build idea that I actually want to use the logs for. So pretty much something like this. I'm going to need so much water and so many seeds just to fill this one pot of land. I'm starting to think that maybe I should have done something a little bit smaller in scale. Okay, place that there and now we can finally fill up our bucket with water from the swamp. It's already almost nighttime again. Oh my goodness, this takes forever for me just to build small projects. Anyways, let's go to bed. Okay, so we pretty much have the first farm laid out, and it's almost complete. I still have to do a little bit of more overgrown aesthetic to it. But other than that, uh, I have to take out the rest of this by pretty much, I have to flatten it. What I mean is, I have to flatten this entire area down, and I also have to fill this in so I do not have to deal with it later. I do not want a giant hole in this area. I just want everything to be perfectly flat, so if I want to add anything, I don't have to fill up holes later. So, fill up this hole, and then we can finally finish flattening out this area, and then we'll work on the next farm. Shoveling dirt is probably one of the most satisfying things to ever do in Minecraft ever, and I'm pretty sure everyone else would feel the exact same way that I do about this. If you guys actually agree with me on this, comment down below just saying like hashtag agree or whatever you want to comment down below to show me that you agree with me on this. But yeah, it's pretty much the most satisfying thing to ever do. And hello sheep. Also, I got to take these last two out and done. We are finally done flattening out this entire area and it looks absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure if this would actually look good, but I'm thinking about doing that, pretty much bringing it out and adding it into the ground part, and also building it up. I'm also thinking about building it up more towards the cliff area, so it's more guarded and no, like, mobs will jump, jump up on my crops. And then I'll add up the bushes and fences. I'm not going to build all of the paths in this episode, I'm just wanting to start a small one that leads around the farms. And also down here where I'll have like a small little stairwell. But that's pretty much it. And then later on in the future, I will add it more often when I add more builds. Uh, this is going to take forever. I'm just going to do a quick time lapse, make it easy. Okay. 
I say this looks good for now. I'll probably have to curve more of it later, but let's move on to making the next farm. I have to make this more wider so it's not so narrow down. I do not want any animals just jumping up and it easily breaking my crop. So I have to try and narrow this down. Not really narrow it, but widen it more so it has more of like a two space instead of a one. And probably go from there, maybe? I might have to make it three later. I'm still not sure, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Okay, that looks wide enough. Now what I guess is next is we have to use the roots to make a border like I did with the last one. I am absolutely unsure what I am doing. I don't even know where to start. I'm just pretty much basing this off of something in my head. Some fantasy world that I don't even know exists. And I'm just hoping for the best that it actually turns out really good. I'm not sure that it will though, so... I don't even know if this is right at all. I'm probably going to change it here in the later future. But for now, I'm just going to have to leave it like this. And also, I just realized that the sun is setting. So I should probably get to bed. You guys will not believe how long it took me to actually finish this build. And let's say I'm not really a fan of it, but it's probably just going to have to stick like this for a little while. But we have the other farms we put in the bushes, and we haven't put in the fences yet, but we'll do that later. And, ooh, we can actually collect this wheat. Good. Now I have more seeds to plant. Just get this one next, and there we go. And, oh, no. Oh, a crap. I gotta turn auto jump off. This is what happens when you don't turn auto jump off. But it's okay, it's fixed now. And, boom, we are done. So, now that we are done with our two starter farms, I should say... I want to maintain our focus on the well over there. I need an infinite water source because I am tired of going up and down to the lake to get water and it is annoying. So I'm going to make a well. I need to get the sources. I need to start building so we don't have to worry about the whole unlimited water supply. So let's go do that. I literally almost forgot to put the fences down because I was so busy thinking about the well. This is just crazy and it's going to take me forever. Okay, it didn't take that long as I expected, but anyways, it's done. We have to do the other farm now. I hate it when I run out of building materials during a build. This just is the worst thing to ever do. Anyways, um, we need more fences for the, for the farm, and we also need more supplies such as uh, slabs and barrels and lights for the whole lighting kind of... Pistols? No, not pistols. Like the lighting lamps on the ground. And I also need to get more supplies because I'm going to think about putting deep slate into the well. So I'm going to have to go mining later. Or maybe I'm just probably going to do cobblestone. It just, it's, it's a still iffy situation. But I'll figure it out. I'll make sure that it looks good in the end. So this should be good enough. Yeah, this, this looks good. Okay, now we can finally go off and finish all of our buildings. So let's start off by adding more of these fences to this farm and then we can finally move on to adding the lights around the roads and then we'll start working on the well like I promised. And oh my goodness this is so hard because let's be honest here doing a whole natural aesthetic thing for my builds is very hard. I mean for, for anyone it is hard because when you're doing something very natural you have to do like you have to make sure that it's very random and out of place, like in different places. So that actually looks so natural that you actually, it, it looks like, like you didn't actually build it. It actually looks as if it came out of that looking like this, like it was born that way. Anyways, I'm probably going to do the rest of this as a time lapse. So start the time lapse. Okay, and done. Now we can actually finally start working on the lights. So let's pull out the barrels and get started. Onward and upward. Okay, this looks really good so far. Okay, we are finally done with the lights so far. 
Okay, finally the thing that I promised that we were going to do, the well. So we need to start building this, and the first thing we need to do is take out this disgusting outline made from cobble and spruce planks. So I'm just going to take this out real quick. It was just an outline. It's going to be a 4 by 4 And then we're probably going to do something with like a spruce border. Now it's time for the roof. We have finished the well and it is actually looking pretty nice except we don't have any water in it yet. But that's okay, we're gonna take our beautiful bucket and we're actually gonna go get some from the lake down below. So let's take this lovely little new path, which isn't done yet, over behind our sugarcane farm and we're just gonna go take this water and we're gonna go fill up our well. So let's just jump up here. Hello, friendly sheep, how are you? I hope you love the path. Anyways, let's head up over here. And there's another sheep. Oh my goodness, there's so many sheep here. And we're gonna place the first one right here. And then we're probably, I don't want to use the path again. I love it, but I'm just gonna go straight down here, cut to the chase, get the last bucket of water that we need and jump all the way up here. And that sheep is dancing in the well. And oh no, I just, I, I placed that in the wrong area. Get, give it, get, give me my water back. Okay, let's place this right here, and boom, infinite water. Hallelujah. Sing praise, sheep. <laughs> okay, so we have that, and the sheep does not... Okay, the, the sheep doesn't want to admire that anymore. And no, get out of here. Ooh, oh, I, oh, why? Why? I gotta fix this. No, no. What? Oh my goodness, I have to fix this. I literally have to fix this, because animals just keep coming in here, and I just... Oh my goodness. Also, I'm sorry that I killed that sheep, but it was the only way. I do not want him ruining any more of my crops. So I'm probably just gonna... I, I think I need to take this out for now, and then I'll probably just fix it later. I'll, I'll fix it later. I'll probably, like, terraform it, make it look better. Pretty much it. So, oh my goodness. Oh my. This video is just going so, so long. Okay, so we've gotten a lot of stuff done. We've gotten the lights, we've gotten the paths, we've gotten the farms, and we finally gotten the well done. So what else is there that we really need to do? Not much. I think, I think we've gotten everything that we got on our to-do list done. So I think all we need to do is pretty much just put away some of our stuff. I believe that's it. Unless we need... No, I think, I think we're good, actually. Unless we need more <laughs> fences. Why didn't I fix that earlier? Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, this looks pretty good so far. You know what I will do, though? I will terraform this actually right now. We should probably do that and get this video over and done with so I can fix this and no more animals come over here. Okay, this looks good for now. I'm probably going to use a mountain of dirt and just make it more cliff-like. But for now, it's flattened enough to the point where animals are just going to choose not to jump over here. And oh, some more of my crops are done. We can finally fill these wheat fields up. So I'm probably going to do this. And I will probably see you guys here in the next couple hours after I fill these fields up. It's probably going to take a while. But I will get it done. I shall see you guys here in three, two, and one. Okay, we just got back. It's been about an hour and maybe 30 minutes, but we got everything done. We got some more seeds planted, both weed fields, both weed fields, I might mention. Um, but we did, we got this one just planted right now. So everything's good, everything's done. And this is pretty much the end of the video. I got everything that I wanted to get done now, so I'm probably just going to head out to my outro. Okay, everybody, I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please be sure, if you are new to the channel, to subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss another one of these videos. And also, hit that like button. It really shows that you actually support my channel and you actually love these videos. So, without further ado, I shall see you guys next time. Bye!